Hi, and welcome to another in our series of short sale myths. My name is Chris. I'm Ken. And today what we're going to bring to you is actually probably the primary cons- primary thing you need to consider when you are thinking about a short sale on your real estate property. Right. How to choose the right agent for a short sale. Actually, this is probably the most important thing of all. Right. You need to consider... In the past, you may have seen billboards or benches or flyers. Shopping from, carts. Yeah, very yeah. familiar faces. We all like to have our face out there. Right, right. Uh, but now what you really have to consider is you have to go past who's the most popular in your area. Right. And you really have to go with the individual who is the most educated and experienced on short sales. Experience means a lot right now. I mean, it, it means more than anything. We we work with wonderful agents and have for several years. Some of those agents are not uh, trained on doing short sales, actually kind of avoid them, and at times it can seriously harm the seller because once your property is at a point where your notice of default, sale date is set, sometimes they end up losing the home to foreclosure, and that is what we want to avoid. We want you to avoid. Yeah, I think most importantly, uh, something you can look for and maybe something you can ask as um, uh, in consideration. An interviewing question. An interviewing question, exactly, is how many short sales have you successfully listed? And the key importance here is listed and completed. Completed is key successfully, right? And, you know, how long did the process take? Through our experience, I would say a minimum of three success, successful short sale listings that have followed through to successful purchases is key. Right, and your home should not be listed for six months. I mean, a successful short sale, you should have an offer in the first 30 days or your agent is not doing the right job. Right. Uh, Again, can't emphasize enough what Kim just said. You should have an offer on your property. If you have the right agent doing it, you should have an offer within the first 30 days of a short sale listing. Exactly, because the bank is who's going to decide on what price is given. The key thing is get offers to the bank. Right. Again, uh, this is so important, but make sure you choose the right short sale real estate executive who has been trained in short sales. Right. This is just one of those times where you have to put aside um, the reputation of what we're all used to seeing from people. Here, really, knowledge is going to count for everything, so interview, 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 and ask the right questions. Hope that helps. Exactly. Uh, if you have any more questions about short sales and or any uh, real estate questions at all, please feel free to call us. We're with Platinum Real Estate here in sunny Southern California. Right. Again, my name is Chris. I'm Kim. You can reach us at area code 714-615-7605. Or please blog us at shortsalesellit.com. Till next time, bye. Thanks again. Bye-bye.